the landlord would be held liable although he or she was not negligent he or she was acting in good faith and he or she did not have knowledge of a dog's tendency to bite now there are a lot of effects that could come from the way that this language can be interpreted currently there's a lot of effects but the main one being that there will be an increase in landlords exposure and in claims it will likely lead to higher insurance costs for liability insurance and when we think of landlord what do we think of a landlord is simply a small business owner who has assumed risk and is trying to get ahead in life individuals should be responsible for their own pets now none of us I know I do not I know no one on this committee wants to see any harm come to anyone whether it be by animal or person and we could lawyer this thing to death but what's right is right and a landlord or a property owner should not be held liable for another person's dog.